Hi everybody. Um, today I decided is the time to upgrade four fish to the carp exhibit. Uh, it'll be two Chinese masir, also known as uh, Torsinensis. One from this tank and uh, another one from another tank. And we also do this for um, the biggest yellow chick from this tank. The smallest one I think I'll leave in this tank for now. So that's that's a big uh, gamble and uh, wish me luck, I'm, I'm gonna need it. And also uh, Hampala Macrolepidota from the other tank. So those four fish, four uh, Cyprinids, I think are ready to be tried in the in the 25,000 gallon uh, uh, car pond. All right? So we'll just catch them and put them in there and see what happens. This one is the biggest yellow chick. It's pushing foot and a half. I think about 16 inches. And he's been pretty nervous in that little tank that's only two feet wide. Uh, he's got pretty bad gill curl from, from birth, I, I think. It's a birth defect or genetics. So we'll place it in the car pond and see what happens. Despite having uh, the worst gill curl I have ever seen on any fish, on both sides, total length, they're distorted and they have been like that since it was about 5-6 inches. He still uh, outgrew the one that looked better, that looked more or less normal, yellow chick, that remained in the 240 gallon. checking out if we have any water spots so I'm uh, I'm gonna try it here and see what happens it's uh, it's not easy for the fish to get used to being here because there are aggressive cyprinids in there such as black sharks um, the small-scale mud carp and the masseer of course when the masseer get hungry they go after any fish that they uh, believe they can take. Sometimes they even go after a foot and a half koi that they cannot take, but they will descale them and uh, harass them to no end. So I really, since I've learned that, I'm, I'm keeping the, this pond really well fed. Anyhow, this is our yellow chick. We'll come back and check on it a little later. Pretty stressed. They're very nervous, timid fish, and never any change or any any sort of harassment or uh, an attack or uh, even a movement outside their tank often uh, makes them dart and freak out and trying to swim away. All right, we don't want to need the big net anymore. We're gonna have uh, to remove a, a Chinese masseer from the same tank. It's slightly smaller, probably about 14 inches. I 
I think I can use this small net for this guy. But he is much faster and much more agile. So that's gonna be interesting. The one with the with the stripe running along the lateral line. Yeah, that one. Okay, he's bigger than I thought. From <laughs> from looking at him closer. for my money. Okay. Oh, no, we see the fighters. So that's our first Chinese Masir. Torsinensis. The funny thing is, the two Chinese masseurs we have seem to have different body shape. This one is uh, a lot more elongated and uh, not as tall as the other one. I hope you will get to see soon. Here's our guy. Hey, little guy. Hope you grow big in there and strong and healthy. He's probably never seen such a big enclosure before. This is about 50 feet by 15 feet wide on average and by uh, by four and a half feet. Deep. Anyhow, this is the Hampala Macrolepidota and the other Chinese Masir, which you can see, it's got a different body shape. It's like, like taller in the, uh, under the dorsal, it's much taller and therefore it appears stuck here. But anyhow, I got both of these as Chinese Masir. This one came from Wes and the other one came uh, from Mike Shukwans from New Jersey. Um, yes. Yeah, this one came from Wes, that's right. Wesley Wong, a rare fish. Anyhow, we gotta catch now those, those two guys. And they will try and resist that, of course. And they're very good at it. At resisting. Avoidance. Same, 
thesis on paper declared torsinensis. This one is taller for some reason and slightly shorter, probably about 12 inches or so, maybe. Maybe so. Off he goes. There's the yellow chick, still alive. I hope he enjoys it and this exhibit is much better aerated and cooler in general. I saw Masir taking an interest in him. Much better aerated and cooler in general and I hope it will help his gill curl and his gills will start straightening out. I've seen that happen with other fish. For example, arowana. Oftentimes I get silver arowana with a pretty bad gill curl. And as they grow, the gill curl little by little disappears. And I uh, arrogantly attribute this to to much better water of mine than uh, the water they came from. All right, the last but not least is the Hampala macrolepidota. This is the first species I have ever had of this kind. So it's uh, special to me. I've never had another. They're said to be quite uh, common in, in their home range. Which is Southeast Asia. in your tank they're not so easy to catch there he, there he is very pretty fish with red fins should be should go much bigger it's got black highlights yes you're a fighter that's right almost looks like a rod or a roach, if you're familiar with Northern uh, European and Eurasian common cyprinids. Here we are. It also has a black spot in the middle, distinctive. Off he goes. Here's the yellow chip. You can see the gill curl on both sides, pretty bad. And it also rubbed a sore on its lower jaw from trying to swing through the glass when I or somebody else walks by the tank or whatnot when he's scared. here the tall one right there I don't know if you can see it yeah 
Everybody thinks it's feeding time. Every time I come by, they think it's feeding time. Not yet, guys. Maybe in a three more hours. I feed them about four times a day. And of course, they want to be fed 24 times a day. Here is a small scale mud carp, the one with the forked tail, with the red highlight on the tail. I've seen him uh, slurping slime or trying to do something to other fish. He does it all the time. And I don't know what exactly he's after. He's a mud carp. He's supposed to be sucking mud and uh, be content with pretty much anything it finds in the mud. Right there. You can't show your face. Here he is. I got him from Jeff Raps just before he closed down in January last year, 2019. So he came. The, uh, the name is Serenus. Microlepis, common name, small scale mud carp. And it came about three inches, and it's about probably about a foot right now, or maybe 14 inches. That's a smaller Chinese masseur, and that's the other Chinese masseur, slightly bigger. It's stressed right now, so it's lost. The dark stripe along its side, but it will come back. The yellow chick is chilling in the corner. As I said again, they're very easily stressed fish. So I hope he comes to its senses before. Masir and other aggressive fish decide to say hello. Like black sharks. They look pretty good in 240. Here he looks tiny. There's Hampala Macrolepidota. Came out of the came from the corner. It went first to, into the corner where it's heading to right now. Alright guys, so that's our report. Thank you for watching, appreciate it.